all right youtube in this video we are going to see how to convert the html template into the laravel template this is the html template we are going to convert into laravel and this is the steps we are going to follow to convert into a laravel template fine you can see, you can see there are five steps starting from how to download the laravel project and we are going to link the css and html and uh, we are going to see how where the page is load actually when we when the server starts where the actual index page is so for that we are going to download the laravel project actually it's a set of folder which will have file structure we have to understand the file structure and uh, you can see this is the link where you can get the code uh, this is a simple way we are going to look at the file structure we are going to see where the css file is getting loaded where the index file is getting loaded and uh, we are going to make it into two files you can you as you know in every pages there are before that you can see we are going to convert we are going to open the cmd and uh, i have installed installed the zamp which is a live server php server apache apache server fine this is the file structure in the HT docs i have a folder called laravel and inside the folder i am going to paste the code you can see the at, na, at present in the laravel folder i have just one folder now when i run it you will see the cmd or the command will automatically create a folder called single page application now you can see the file is created it will take some time i have paused it and resumed it now get into the folder name we are going to open live server get into the folder name with the command cd followed by the folder name and then you have to write the code php artisan serve now you will get the ip address along with the port ip address is 127.0.01 colon 8000 is the port if you enter you will see a welcome page and now we are going to see where this welcome page is getting loaded from for that we have to get into the folder i am going to use the sublime text and ignore this file because i have created it for the example now i am going to open a folder as you have noticed we have placed the we have placed our application inside the laravel file laravel folder and inside the laravel folder we have a folder called single page application and this is where our cmd created all our files this is a file structure now inside the routes you will see the web.php if you click if you enter slash on the url you will see this index page is getting loaded this index page is called welcome and this welcome you can see it in the resources folder inside this is folder you will see view inside the view you will see welcome.blade.php you don't have to mention blade.php you just have to mention welcome laravel knows automatically and uh, i have mistakenly edited the title you don't have to edit the title you have to edit the h1 which will be in the body tag if you refresh it and this is the correct file which got loaded when the when we enter this url fine now we are going to link the css and javascript and images of the html theme now this is the html theme which is in the desktop you can see in the url there is a desktop and now along with that we got three new folders which consist of css images and javascript you need to copy all these three folder and place it into our laravel folder 
and it has a place called public inside the public you just have to directly paste it all the CSS folder all the JS folder and all the images folder you can see I have mistakenly copied only the CSS file this is not the case we are going to copy all the folders which is required while loading the plain HTML page fine at, at present at now I'm going to copy I'm going to open the public and now okay, I'm copying all the files and paste going to paste it on the public folder fine I have pasted it I have I'm going to remove which I have added previously fine now get into the index page in our case it is welcome dot blade dot php now we are going to create a common page as you know a common page is simply for a uh, no before that we will link the CSS on the head section for that I'm going to open the plain HTML template in the notepad plus plus and copy all the link tag and the script tag you know link tag and script tag which links the HTML page to the relevant CSS file and relevant JavaScript file now in my case it is all placed in the header section so I'm going to cut it and paste it in our welcome page so this is for the tutorial so for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all the JavaScript just to just for you to see clearly I'm going to remove the JavaScript now you can see there is only the script tag and above we have links link tag link is for CSS and script is for JavaScript you might be familiar with now if you load you can see this is a file name I'm going to the browser and I'm going to load it the welcome page it will get into the web.php and uh, in the web.php when I click on search slash it will open the welcome page so you can see this is the welcome page it just it has linked but it is linked in a absolute way we need the relative way relative in the sense we need the domain name also for that we have to use the asset function and we have to pass the file location inside the parameter and make sure that this asset function should be inside the double curly braces and we call it as played you can see I am doing it for all the files so this is for the absolute for uh, sorry relative purpose relative in the sense we will get the domain name and then the folder name and then the file name instead of just the file name and the instead of just the folder name and the file name by using asset we will get the server name also so if you see if I refresh it you will see HTTP colon 127.0.01 it has added it is called the absolute way fine now we don't need this this is the common section which is going to repeat for every pages so for that I'm going to create a folder on the view now we are going to create the common page inside the view create a folder called layout and inside the layout create a file called app this app will hold the repeating header at repeating HTML codes that is the HTML tag is going to repeat for every page the head tag is going to repeat for every page 
and the clo bo opening body tag is going to repeat for every page make sure you give the name as app.blade.php remove the welcome page and paste it in the app.blade.php now if you refresh we have removed all the code from the welcome page now it is blank you can see remove it if you save it or delete it it doesn't matter now we are going to change it you can see when i get into the web.php when i click when i click search it should go into the layout and inside the layout we have a file called app so it is not slash we have to put dot so now if you press ctrl u all the code which were in the welcome is now in the app file which is inside the layout folder now what we are going to do is we are going to paste our header content section and footer section into the common page the common page is app.blade.php so we are going to cut all the content from the static html template and going to paste it inside our app.blade.php this is the static html template which is inside the desktop get the head section first and place it in the header header and this is for your understanding i have added comment on the app.blade.php and now the footer section it has some useless javascript i have removed it now if you refresh the page will load fine but we don't want this structure we want a common container a common container which hold all the html tag all the head tag and all the body tag so for that we are going to create an index page which will not have the common html tag common body tag and common head tag inside the view i am going to create a file called index.blade.php make sure to have blade.php at the end now get the when i when the server loads when the page loads i want to get into the index not the layout.app please notice that and now i'm going to create a section called header and inside this section i'm going to place all the code relevant to header and inside the content section i'm going to place all the content code inside the footer section i'm going to place all the footer code as i said this is for your this is for your uh, this is just to see where our header and footer starts that's why i have placed it inside app.blade.php now you can see our app.blade is clear without much code of html now you can see we have placed it all over code in the index.blade so how it is relevant so we have to mention the section which will be loaded when the index page loads and at the place of show all the content inside the section header on the index page will show all the content in inside the content will show so on the footer section all the content inside the footer section will show up in the place of at show 
but is not in the place of at show so this wrapper there is no wrapper you can see when i enter slash enter in the sense when the server loads it will go into the index page so there is no wrapper isn't it the html tag is not there so how are we going to connect it we are going to connect it with the keyword called extends please note we have to add at the rate in the front so when the page loads it gets into the index and in the index it will load the layout dot app dot layout dot app file so in the header so basically in the header section we are going to load all the header in the content section we are going to load all the content in the footer section we are going to load all the footer the error we are going to get is because i have not mentioned at the rate and one more thing we have to pass the header as a string not a constant that's what it is showing now it's a string this is a little confusing but as you convert some 2 to 3 html template you will be getting used to it and it would be very easy for you now if you refresh there would be an error called extends there was a typo this, this was a typo error we need to add at the rate in the front of the extends that's the reason now we'll get the laravel template of html version so when i'm get into the slash or the root folder it will get into the route inside the web.php it will load the index and in the index i have ex i have called the layout folder and this layout folder acts as a wrapper which will have all the repeating html codes and uh, and uh, yeah you can see this is a repeating html code and this section is from the at the rate section container